right. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Not to stay, though. Not to stay. <laughs> uh, sports has a lot of similarities to life and many other things and day-to-day -day activities. Can you guys share some of the parallels between sports and to what you guys do? Cardiac transplant, transplant in general, kind of is it's a team sport. It relies on all aspects of the team to be successful and bench strength is very important so there are a ton of parallels. There are a lot more people than just the people on the field at one moment and That's we're it. fortunate to sit here and talk with you but there is if we put everybody in this room that was on your team it would fill up this room and would be overflowing. We really don't have any weak links on our team. Everybody is strong. We've had a huge number of people that have been on your team and you've seen every day and that knows your case as well as we do in front of you. So we've been talking a little bit about the sports thing. I'm sure you guys remember my um, pillow that I had in my room. How did it feel to provide treatment to the guy that has the best football team in the NFL? Not the team that you're thinking. <laughs> Your pillow was actually very distracting to us. Our team spent hours and hours talking about whether we should transplant you because of the high-risk behavior of oh. cheering for the Cowboys. <laughs> Really? Okay, okay. It was actually really reassuring to take care of a patient who was very sure of themselves, very sure of their team, they were very committed, and as you said, I'm going to get through this and I'm going to get out of here. So, I mean, clearly your commitment was there. I, mean, I think every inch of your room had cowboy memorabilia on it, including the door on yes. the way in. Yes, yes. Now, none of these individuals, I don't believe, were <laughs> culprits of hosting no, those things. No. But they all commented on the rivalry that was going on on my door. But yeah, that meant a lot to me, just being able to you know, have you guys join in on that and lighten the mood for me. I, mean, I think it's all of our goals, including the floor nurses, anybody that worked with you is to help support you through your stay with us until you got your opportunity to be your cheerleader. Mm -hmm. yeah. As much of the medical part of it, there's a whole other component, and I would say the non-medical, because that includes the caregivers, like your wife and your daughter, includes all the nurses that, that have taken care of you, and part of that is everybody realizes how stressful this is emotionally and psychologically, especially being in the hospital for days on end, just waiting and waiting. That is its own form of torture. Right, and so like what you said is like having those distractions, we all take that very seriously because we need to make sure you are mentally strong enough to get through all of this because it is really hard. You know this. It really goes back to the sports analogy. Everybody on your team is in the stands cheering for you because you're the home team. Okay. And that's really cool.